Well, the Kabul airport on 300,000 uh, yeah, Afghans. Uh, good thing I sponsored Fatima Scheherazade. She was a translator in the uh, cafeteria. It's a Bagram air raid before the anxious. Why'd they give that away with all those the military stuff? Fatima. Mm -hmm. No, don't, 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 don't put clothes on so early. Um, have you mastered uh, making American pancakes yet? I'll, I'll, I'll cook them in butter. Thank you. That's the secret there. Oh, oh, avalik, lick. Mm, lickety split. Mm, in the split. Yeah, the, uh, well, dripping the fuck again dikes. Yeah, they're in avalik on the coast. And this is where the Turkish ferry shoves off to Lesbian Island. Oh, yeah. All right, look at, um, Imagine, using your imagination, imagine something that's five miles away from like where you are right now. Imagine something, you know, five miles away, okay? And then feel, feel how close that seems, okay? That's okay, all right. So now imagine, you won't have to do this too long, Safo and Mwang Bang Trong, yeah, they're standing on the deck of the ferry to Lesbian Island, aren't they? Yeah. They got their arms, uh, one arm on the railing and one arm behind the back of the other. Oh, yeah, triumphant, huh? Their hair blowing wildly in the Aegean breeze. You are gazing in awe straight at Lesbian Island. Oh, ah, uh, which is... Uh, yeah. Wait for this. Five miles away. Yeah, that is correct. Um, from the ferry dock in Ava Lick It Up, your girlfriend, to Lesbian Island is a mere five miles. It's just a little bit of water between... Turkey and Greece. We're talking an international micro moment. Five miles. Yeah. And well, now, okay. Now they got their hands all over each other. The railing was, you know, felt good, but you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody around, huh? Mm hmm. Wang goes, her hands go under Safo's mm -hmm, blouse and oh. She's so buffed out. Even her boobs. Like, go, boom, boom, a couple of men go down in the boxing ring in book, Brooklyn on that. Well, she just grabs a bang by the cross and just start rubbing up on her a lucky rabbit's foot. Yeah. This is a Titanic moment. The movie. The Titanic, okay? We're talking romantic. Escape. Cue the swelling music on that movie. This, this is what it's like for them, you know, and... Uh, well, from this intimate, I mean, small distance, they, they smell pussy. Oh. Wafting across the narrow channel from Lesbian Island. Look, you could take a prestigious $500, yeah, long weekend uh, tantric workshop in California, and they would, they'd gladly uh, take your money to tell you that this uh, pussy wafting uh, aroma, nectar, it's got a fancy Sanskrit word. Every Sanskrit word costs you 50 bucks. It's called Amrita. I mean, in the, in the temple of the original Safo, who, who was born here in 630 BC, the lesbians in the inner inner circle who mastered the yogic art of squirting forth Amrita female ejaculation 
We're talking, I'm reading a shot from a cannon from thunder thighs into the mouth of your lover? If you've never been juiced up by a female ejaculator extraordinaire, you haven't really gone down. Yeah, and so this, these so lesbians, I mean, Sappho's main chicks, they mastered female ejaculation of Amrita, and they became the dominant, powerful uh, tribal leaders, the cult leaders. Yeah, I'll play a liar to that. Liar. L-Y-R-E. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little Greek harp. You heard a lyric poetry? That's what Sappho wrote. That's why they call it lyric poetry because it's accompanied by a, yeah, harp, liar. I'm telling the truth on that. Okay. Well, okay. This female, Amrita, nectar, mm. fragrance of the gods. wafts most strongly across the narrow channel at sunset when the Greek Aegean Sea is most calm. The Greeks call this sea condition Monatsa. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're going to notice a lot in the next three chapters that I use a lot of Greek colloquial phrases. Yeah, in my stories. Because I lived in a secret meditation cave in Rhodes as a young man for many years. And I have a, a coffee table full color book on Amazon. You just say, yearning for earth legs into your smarty phone. And you can get this mailed right to your door. There's Goddess Earth. I call her Earthy. She stars in the book. And she's yearning. See her looking at the Earth? She wants Earth legs. She wants to fuck like Earth chicks, okay? And she gets to do that. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll be... Uh, Riding high with her on that uh, artwork here. California has such gorgeous visionary artists. Yeah, Darren Mink, friend of mine. When I did uh, 50 stand-up comedy shows at Harvard Hot Springs. He just says, hey, Mark, you want to use this for a book cover? Just go ahead, you know? I know I got it out here. Uh, oh. oh, some people are curious... In this story, I uh, talk a lot about Cleopatra. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I do montages just for the fun of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, there, there. Cleopatra was 30 in the story, and I was 20. There I am, 1968, buffed out 20. Look at those mischievous eyes, and she's like 30. Me 20, her 30, bang, bang. Mm-hmm. Oh, she got those rings on her fingers. She makes those. Oh, I could just go on and on. But, I mean, just, you know, grab this book. It's just so beautiful. So, yeah, just the illustrations in this book. There's Chief Joseph and an Earth Mama Oracle from San Francisco. Well, um, therefore I speak peasant Greek. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm enough to make jokes in Greek to Greeks. Yeah. Some a lot of fun to have around, huh? On a taxi ride and a cafe on. Pension, Taverna. <laughs> yeah. Now, for example, in a anthropos, a la tra, a la oreo trelos. Translated, in a, I am a man, anthropos, anthropomorphic a man, 
Who is Trey Love's crazy? Allah, but oh, Trey Love's. I'm beautiful, crazy. Always gets a laugh from the Greek. So I used that on the uh, Greek ambassador in uh, the embassy in San Francisco to get a visa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, okay. There, uh, 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 Sappho and her bang are on the ferry. And so Sappho amuses Wang Bang Tang uh, with a final erotic story about the wildest party that ever came down in the Virgin Islands. And that party was just seven days before she was on a jet with saxophone and sphinx to Europe. She'd never been out of the States before. Um, yeah, so kick back with, uh, with Bang and savor this oh, female-oriented story. <sighs> Got away from those men for a while. Huh? About the wildest hippie party in the history of Margaritaville. Yeah. Cue Lord Dennison. <laughs>